I've got company today. Happy Friday, by the way. I believe it's Black Friday over there, isn't it? I've got the lovely Poppy here. Here for the weekend. And if you see me full of hair, it's because I've also got Gigi. <laughs> and uh, there's a little bit of competition going on between the two. Uh, of like who gets my attention. <laughs> so, oh my goodness me. I'm wearing a navy and hair. <laughs> I'm just looking at Poppy, she wants to go out again. Poppy, you know it's cold. You're freezing your grandma out. She wants the door wide open and it's cold. Poppy, no, you'll have to wait. Just wait a little while, Poppy. Right. Well, I'm still doing the shawl, which will be the Christmas, well, part of the Christmas present for my elder niece. I'm quite disappointed with it, not with the actual pattern. But for the fact that uh, even though I used the right colours that they specified on the pattern, it looks much brighter on the pattern. Sort of more brighter, lighter colours. Whereas mine's turned out pretty uh, dark and... Oh, I don't know if she managed to do that. Then she managed to go past it without knocking the, the tripod. So mine's... This one's turned out more, more greens. Hardly any light colours in it at all. So, as I say, I'm a little disappointed with it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It's quite a com convoluted pattern, um, because it's got... <laughs> you're changing yarn almost every row and it's going to fall off. You're changing yarn every... almost every row. And every row kind of... it's a different formation. Oh, yes, I knew she'd knock it at one stage. It wouldn't be our poppy if she didn't knock it over, would it? Um, so that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's very nice, but it's just a disappointment that it's not the colours that I thought it was going to be. And I wouldn't mind, but I've got two lots of it. Because I was going to make one for myself as well, but I think it's going to be one that's going to finish up. Not this one. Finish up on Etsy eventually. But it will have to be more expensive because the yarn was actually more expensive and it took a, a lot of man hours, let's just say, to to do it. Because you have to concentrate. Look at all the ends I've got to sew in. No pain, no gain. What do they say? Yeah. I mean, it is quite nice. It's just, it's just not what I thought it was going to be. Uh, I thought there'd be a lot more lighter colours in it, but never mind. I've lost my ball of wool now. It's gone down somewhere or another. Oh no, it's here. It's all done in Kinko Riot. This is just one of the shades. It's got four shades, but a lot of them are very, very similar. Uh, this one is actually Autumn Shade. And in actual fact, I'm going to have to finish it off differently than the pattern because I've run out of the colour I'm supposed to be using for the end. Uh, I've got that much left of one and a little bit more left of another colour. So the bottom four rows will have to be <laughs> my way <laughs> and not the way that it says on the pattern. Well, what am I doing? Well, I treated myself to an early birthday present. Well, it's not an early one, is it? Because it's nearly my birthday. Two days. <laughs> um, these are from Moonbeams and Mayhem. They're a little bit expensive, but they are so unusual, aren't they? Ooh, a bit tight on the tops of the arms, but got fat wrists. So there they go, aren't they lovely? Moonbeams and Mayhem. They're for on my scooter to keep my hands warm when it's really, really windy, because they're fleecy, fleecy material. When I hand knit things, the, the window seems to blow through the stitches. Maybe I'm a loose knitter, I don't know. So that's what I've got. Uh, I've had early birthday cards. I've got one from Caroline and Mikey. That's a friend of mine and her son. I've got one here from when I get it open. Oh, that's from Anne. That's my sister-in-law. And ooh, <laughs> I've got another one from Karen and Kel, casualistic. That's my PC, just ignore it. And then I received a very unexpected present. 
that came in a gorgeous gift bag. It says a gift for you. And this came from Ian, if you look who looks who got comments and he's always on the live video. So that's very naughty of you, Ian. He kept saying, I'm going to send you a kilo of yarn. I kept saying, no, 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 I don't want any more yarn. So he sent me this instead, which is Crochet Geometry. It's by um, Shannon Mullet Bowlesby. So I haven't really sort of looked at it that closely. Um, Although I was surprised when it came, I think, what have I ordered from Amazon? What have I ordered? don't know what I've ordered from Amazon. And it turned out I didn't order anything from Amazon. It was Ian who ordered it from me. Uh, that's one of them. I'm not showing you anything because it's not got the pattern on there. That's one of them. It's a nice book, this, because it goes up to large sizes, which is quite handy. You know, because I'm so teeny tiny. Um, that's the shrugs, beginning of the shrugs. That's the back view. Well, that's a that's a back view of it. To bend it round, just in case there's any destructions, as Ari used to call them. He never called them instructions. He goes, has it come with destructions? And that's the front of the shrug. That's the back of the cocoon shrub. Ooh, it's hard to bend a full book, isn't it? You can bend a magazine, but this one doesn't want to bend. And that's a wrap around front shrub. Now we're on to cardigans. That's nice, it's like a mock arum. I hope you can see it. I hope the light's not shining. But it is four o'clock and it's gone very dull outside. It gets dark very quickly. I would have done this e earlier, but my uh, my neighbour came to chat to me. Gonna miss him. He's moving out next weekend. That's the front. I think of the one that looks like an arrow at the back. I do like that one very compact close together stitches just shows that crochet doesn't always have to be open work you know so that the wind blows through it you can do it close stitch that's the back view of it I do like doing close stitches you know sometimes for myself rather than open work open work's pretty isn't it but but um, Close stitches more practical if it's winter. That's a half circle cardigan. Obviously, that's the back view. Oh, we've got a cat outside. It's going to go. Oh, she hasn't seen him. Oh, thank goodness for that. There would have been oh hell, that one. Should have seen the cat. It's the cat that suddenly has decided it wants to keep coming in my house. Thankfully, I closed the patio door. Otherwise, it would have come in. And then there would have been ructions. The tripod would have gone flying, everything would have gone flying because she goes, she hates cats. That's called the tea top. You know, I keep looking at these little cats and you know in these um, the rescue centres and that and thinking, oh they need a home. But I don't because she Gigi hates cats and this one would just chase them stupid. That's the front view of it, showing the larger size. Not done that stitch before, sort of like a plaited stitch. Well, that's a circle tea top again. Yeah, I would love a couple of cats, but uh, no can do while we've got Gigi and Poppy. Buster wasn't keen on cats either. I don't know what that one's called. What's that one called? Oh, it was just another view of the one I mentioned before. A rectangle top. Is that one? Oh. A 
I don't know whether that's a separate cowl or whether it's part of the rectangle top. Again, these are close together. And that's a gathered shoulder sleeveless top. And that's a cowl neck tunic. I think that is gorgeous. Split circle wrap. That's so pretty, isn't it? There's another picture of it. Showing it on a larger lady as well. Of course, they never look as pretty on a larger <laughs> lady, do they? But never mind. At least they're truthful. You know, by showing it on larger ladies and not giving you the impression that you're going to look like the lady in the green. Because I certainly wouldn't. That's a nice little wrap if you're wearing like an evening dress. It's called a two circles wrap. It's off the shoulder. I think there's a whoop, front view picture of it somewhere. Yeah, there it is. If I cover up the instructions. Oh, that's showing it. How it fastens with the buttons. And I almost bought some yarn today because Kemp's have got a a sale of it. I thought, no. Kelly is helping me to put everything on the shelving uh, in the back, so we're just hoping to get things on the shelves rather than buying any more. It was very tempting because it was very, very good prices, you know. But I thought, no, please, no more. That's the Macrame look vest, Macrame, or Macrame, I think you call it over in the US. Oh, Ephraim's made a new video, and he was, he couldn't think of the word Tunisian, but he was saying that um, he laughs at the way we pronounce it over here, because, of course, in the US, you call it Tunisian, which, you know, to me, it doesn't have an E in it, it has an I in it, so it's Tunisian, but that's just me being picky, picky, picky. Well, I have ordered yarn, but before you shout at me, it is, I decided I wanted to make this. Not for me. Hopefully, somebody will like it and buy it from my Etsy shop. One of my friends just said to me, you've wanted to make it, why don't you go and make it and decide, see if somebody will buy it. I mean, I think it's lovely. So I'm probably better making it in my size, and not then if nobody buys it, at least I can wear it. So that's it. So I had a bit of a sort of a wrangle trying to get the yarn because it's it comes from Love Knitting. This is a free pattern from Love Knitting. It's designed by Katie Jones on the sort of um, Frida Kahlo kind of look. And Love Knitting, they never had any of the, the, the yarn. I could find like four or five colours of it and not the main colour. And so anyway, from Love Knitting, I got the paint box colours that are in the actual jacket we call it a bomber jacket so that's the paint box from love knitting i couldn't find it anywhere else so i couldn't get the colors so i waited i've been waiting weeks and putting it in my list for them to tell me when it had come in stock but as soon as one came in stock one of the others would go out of stock so i was like fighting a losing battle anyway i decided i would go on more warehouse you can tell it's what warehouse can't you from the organdy bag to get the rest of the colors they are not the exact colors but they're going to have to do um black is the main shade so that's no different is it that's black this is stylecraft by the way stylecraft aaron so the other three colors i have to choose as i say they are not quite the exact colors but they will have to do because I got fed up of waiting for Love Knitting to get the other colours in stock. So those are the other three colours, well, as near as, to go in with the black. So I've still got a cardigan to do, but I've got, she wants me to find some patterns to show her. 
so it means going up in the cold stash room because there's no heat in there I'm looking for some cardigan patterns to show her so she'll have to wait until it's a nice warm day when I can go in there without freezing to death and then the lovely Kelly went up to Berry Market and I said let me know if there's anything there you think I might like so she sent me um, a picture but I didn't see it because I was in where was I I was somewhere I was either a dentist or doctor somewhere I was somewhere anyway and so I didn't see it till too late so I, I sent her a message and she said oh we're just getting on the bus now she said but I can go back if you really want me to I said no it doesn't matter she said what did you want I said I wanted the eight balls uh, ten balls of different colours in Aaron you know because They'll either make another one of these cardigans in more subtle colours or they'll be useful for hats and that. So she says, oh, that's funny, she's because I just bought it for you. <laughs> well, not for me, I paid her for it, yeah. So these are Wendy Aaron and she got me, if you can see the price, £8. She got me 10 balls for £8. I'm thinking of not putting the red in if I do another striped jacket because I think the red might be a bit jarring. But um, I've got other colours of iron upstairs that I can use for the main colour. So that's what I'm... That's what I've got. Oh! Pardon me. I'm not too bad today. Yesterday, oh my goodness me. I could not stay awake. I was going meant to do a video yesterday, but all I could do was sleep. Every time I just sat down, I just went to sleep, nodding off everywhere. And I thought, oh, this is ridiculous. I cannot make a video. So we spent most of the day asleep, Gigi and I. Gigi's on a diet, so he's not friends with me at the moment because he keeps going to where his treats are and going. But we've got to get his weight down. He's too heavy for his little legs. So I'm afraid it's no treats for Gigi. Oh, the PC again. Um, I've got to go out in a minute and to let Buddy next door, let him out for his wee. It'll be my final week of doing that because they're supposed to move. He's supposed to be moving out on the thirtieth, which will be a big shock for me having new neighbours after all these years. I just hope they're nice neighbours. Luckily, I've got a garage and a hedge and whatever between us. I'm not like next door to them because they're a detached house on the end. I mean, the back gardens are together, but I've got a, a hedge and a fence. Yeah. But um, time will tell what kind of neighbours they will be. Hope they're good neighbours. Hope they're nice neighbours. Not to see much of them because I can't see them from the front. I've got a hedge in the driveway. And then they've got their garden, so I can't really see their house at all. Um, I can see out the bedroom window, but then I'm not often in the bedroom and I'm not often looking out the window. You know? I'm not a curtain twitcher, you know. <laughs> I don't spend half my time upstairs like that so I can see up and down the street. I have a look out in the morning when I get up. I have a look up and down the street just to see what's changed, you know. <laughs> and then I might have a look out at night when I'm um, closing the curtains just to see who else is up at that time of night, because I'm a night owl. So I just have a look up and down, make sure there's no prowlers or anybody knocking about, you know. And uh, that's usually when I see foxes and things like that. Um, but it's all kind of quiet on the street. And there's only me up. <laughs> the houses are all in darkness except for me. And um, that's when I usually see the foxes and things like that walking up and down the street. I mean, squirrels we get loads of them and um, she does she would go crazy if she saw a squirrel when she goes in the clough which is like the woodland at the bottom here you know she chases squirrels up trees and all sorts of things she's never actually caught one yet touching wood <laughs> they've always managed to just about evade her and uh, I don't know what she quite would she do if she actually caught one because I they bite, I don't know whether they, they carry rabies or what they carry squirrels, I don't know. I know rats carry them, don't they? Carry disease. Or is that Lyme disease or something they carry? I'm not very good with uh, animals. 
<laughs> I can just about spot one species from another, you know, but sometimes I get confused. As for dogs, I always have to say, what kind of dog is it, you know? Then usually show myself up because it's usually a really good breed, you know, one I should recognise, or it's a mixture dog, you know, a mix-up dog. We call them Heinz 57 here. Where, you know, you have no idea where the, what, what breed they're from. <laughs> you can sometimes see a vague bit of German Shepherd in them or a vague bit of something in them. It's like my, my Buster, and he was a part boxer. And we think part Staffy, but we're not quite sure. But he had a lot of other traits of other dogs as well, so, I mean, I don't know what his ancestry was. It was He was a real mix-up. But usually they're the best kind of dogs to have, actually, rather than a pedigree. I mean, she's not a pedigree, Sky. Uh, Sky was a pedigree, sorry. She was a pedigree Rottweiler. But Poppy here, uh, she was bequested on this one by the next door neighbour, who bought her unbeknownst to his mother. Um, he bought her as a Burmese, but I think I said before, she's no more Burmese than I am. I think she's got a bit of German Shepherd in her, but uh, the rest of her is a complete mystery. <laughs> but she's such a beautiful dog. She's so loyal and faithful. She's got such lovely, lovely eyes. Gigi's a pedigree. He's a Chihuahua. I think I said before he's on a diet, so he's soaking. He's not friends with me. He doesn't see why he can't have his treats the same as normal, so we're just cutting him down and hoping for the best. So he's gone right off me. He was all over me before, because you can tell by the hair all over me. You know, you can't wear velvet, you can't wear dark colours around a Gigi. So tomorrow I think I'm going shopping with my niece. She went down to her sister's last week, so we didn't go shopping at all. And I think there's a, a new uh, edition of it's simply crochet there's a new edition of one of them anyway so I should be getting that because you know me I have can't go by the newspaper rack thing without looking if there's a new crochet magazine so I need to finish off the shawl then I can say that's a one more Christmas present done I think I've got six rows but I don't think I'm going to get six rows out of the, the yarn I've got left it said it took four balls, you know, one of each different colour. But two of them have run out. I've just got tiny little balls like that. And I'm supposed to do four more, was it four more rows or six more rows? Six more rows, I think. And make tassels. So I don't think that's going to happen somehow. So the tassels will have to get made because they're part of the, of the look of the shawl, really, aren't they? But I think actually my shawls come out wider. They tell you how, what your stitch count is, you know, for the first few rows. And then, you know, when you get into the rows of 30s and things like that, it just says as row 20, as row 24. Well, obviously the stitch count won't be the same, will it? Because, you know, you're going wider and wider. So they don't tell you, you know, how many bobbles or how many cross trebles you're supposed to have so I've got a feeling I've got more in than I should have because it's sort of gone very wide at the bottom oh pardon me it's gone very wide at the bottom compared with how it was sloping it was sloping quite gradually there you can see and then it's sort of gone sloped a lot more so I think that's why I've run out of yarn I think I've made it a bit wider at the bottom but my niece won't care my niece won't bother but that is just one thing I've got against the pattern, is it doesn't tell you your stitch count. It's Hidden Hills, I think it's called. It is a paid-for pattern from Annie's, and it's called Hidden Hills Shawl. So, but I will warn you, it doesn't give you stitch counts when you get to... It just says row 34 as row 24 and all this jazz with no stitch count. So I think I've added a few more stitches as I've gone on. <laughs> so what? So what? Maybe it'll have to be a little bit shorter than it's supposed to. 
so what? It's not a vital, is it? I'm not going to buy another ball of two colours just to finish it off. No way. So, oh, excuse me. I have got extra balls, but if I want to make the shawl again, I'll need those for that shawl. So I'm not dipping into them, you know, just to make this one exactly to the pattern. Adaptation, that's the name of the game, isn't it? Anyway, I will be doing my Saturday live, um, 9 o'clock. Um, I did think I was going out for a meal, but nothing's been mentioned since then, so maybe I'm not. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? So, I can order in, can't I? Have a takeaway instead. <laughs> my treat to myself, apart from my new, new mittens. Apart from my new mittens, mm, yeah, that's my treat to myself. So I can't wear my mittens when I'm doing my my live tomorrow. So <laughs> I can't do the keyboard can I, when I've got these on. I bought a pair of sleeve uh, sleeveless. No, I didn't buy anything that was sleeveless. I bought a pair of fingerless gloves from this firm two years ago. But they were a bit smaller here and I really have a struggle to pull them up. I keep thinking I'm going to make a little slit down the side and just, you know, embroider the edges to so that they won't fray. But I never get around to it. But these, these are alright. These fit. Wouldn't fit anybody with a bigger hand. Huh? I've got wide hands, but um, they're not particularly long. But my wrists are quite fat. I think I've told you that before. Oh, bruise. I get unexplained bruises everywhere. Don't remember banging myself, but I do. Anyway, I'm waffling on now and I'm going to go because it's going darker and darker and darker. And I want to finish this shawl off tonight because I don't want my niece to see it tomorrow. I want to get it all finished, done and dusted and out of the way. Then I can say, yay, I've got one Christmas present out of the way. Well, actually, I've got almost two Christmas presents because I think I told you Kelly's knitting the, the sweater for my younger niece. Um, I'm paying her in kind. <laughs> she decided she didn't want the money. She wanted to choose wool from my stash, which, of course, I will miss dearly. <laughs> no, I won't. I'm lying <laughs> again. Um, yeah, so two Christmas presents sorted, kind of, yeah. Still got more to go, haven't I? And I decided I would start early, and I really haven't, because I've only got a month, haven't I? And I've got a ladies' cardigan order to do in between as well. Ooh. Anyway, I don't care. I shall... <laughs> I'll do it somehow. I shall see you all tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, we'll have a nice chat, provided we don't get the trolls on as usual. I do apologise if you're offended by the rudeness of these trolls. I can't do anything about that. You know, what they write is, I, I have no control over. It's just I have to be quick deleting it. But if you're offended, I'm very sorry. It's not me that's doing it. Um, yeah, they, they're quite rude with the words. Obnoxious kind of with the words, if you know what I mean. I don't know why they find pleasure in saying oh, horrible things like that to people. I really don't. It doesn't bother me per se, it doesn't um, make me want to give up or anything. I'm not easily offended, I mean, I've heard the words before, if you know what I mean, but it's not nice when you're on a channel with lots of other people who, who maybe, you know, are offended by bad language and rudeness and uh, sexual connotations, let's just say, that they make towards me or anybody. It's usually me. But my shoulders are broad enough, I can stand it, it's just, it's not nice to see it there in black and white and people reading it, it's not nice, is it? So I'm hoping we get a nice um, troll-free day tomorrow and um, we can have a little party tomorrow night. One day early for my birthday, but we can have a little party, yay! <laughs> 
little things amuse me, you know, I'm easily pleased. <laughs> I don't ask for anything. I just said to everybody before, I don't ask for anything. Don't ask for presents. Don't ask for anything. I certainly don't put hints all over my pages. If you just wish me happy birthday on Sunday, on Facebook or anything like that, I should be very happy. That's all I need. <laughs> okay, I'm going now. Bye for now. You will see me going close up as I move towards to switch off the camera. So bye all.